Are you having trouble closing deals? Are you finding month after month your sales are down? If this sounds like you and your situation, you're in luck. On today's episode, I'm going to help you understand some of the things that you might be missing in your pitch and the way that you present that's hurting your sales. What's up, guys? It's Matt, Wyke Fitness Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Now, today, I want to talk about something that I feel a lot of people are having issues with. You know, everyone wants to complain that the market's still bad and people aren't buying, but that's really not the case anymore. I mean, if you can't sell in today's market, there's a problem because it's extremely easy. And unfortunately, in the next few years, I can see almost another collapse, so to speak, where, you know, financially businesses are going to, you know, wash their expenses. Uh, we're going to end up in another type of financial crisis here in the United States. And, you know, it's something that you need to prepare for. So I started off this podcast asking if you were having issues closing deals or, you know, getting contracts signed getting new customers, getting new clients. And if that's you, it could very well be in the way that you're presenting yourself, your business, your service, whatever the case may be. I was recently featured on a website called fitsmallbusiness.com. And basically they took 25 professionals from different industries and tried to find different ways on how to close a sale. And, and for me personally, the best strategy that I have found in order to close a deal is basically to show your prospect or even your customer, if you're trying to upsell them, how you can solve their problem or issue. Let's face it, selling these days does not work. No one wants to be sold. Don't call me. Don't show up on my doorstep. Don't send me an email pitching me all this garbage that I don't want. I don't want to be sold, but... If you can resolve a problem that I have, either personally or from a business standpoint, maybe it's by lowering certain costs, maybe it's improving efficiencies, increasing my margins, so on and so forth. Whatever the case may be, people are willing to buy your product or service if you solve a problem. There has to be validation to warrant the spend. People don't have the disposable income that they did you know, 10 years ago. Things are drastically different. So you need to stop looking to promote yourself. There are way too many people out there who are like, man, I don't understand why I'm not selling all of these, you know, fill in the blank, whatever the product or service is. And, and it's, you know, they talk about, well, I'm an influencer. I'm on Instagram and I have, you know, 1.3 million followers. I should be, you know, killing it. I should be crushing it, whatever the case. But the problem is people don't care who you are. If, if Michael Jordan shows up at your doorstep and wants to sell you a bug spray, but you don't have bugs, guess what? Nobody cares. Yeah, it might be cool that Michael Jordan showed up on your doorstep, but he's not going to sell the product by pushing himself. Hey, I'm Michael Jordan, and obviously this is not an advertisement. I'm just using his name as an example. You know, hey, I'm Michael Jordan. I got this new bug spray. You know, it'll rid your house from all these bugs, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, I, I don't have bugs, so... Sorry, Michael Jordan, but I, I can't use you. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can get an autograph or something. I don't know. But, you know, you need to know your prospect almost better than themselves. So if you can do your research and your due diligence on a business or customer or, you know, potential uh, conglomerate that you're trying to work on, get to know their business. Where, where are their failures? Where are their issues? How can your services fix the issue? Enough with the, well, you know, I'm this and I'm that and I can do that for you. Hey, look, here's how I'm going to solve your problem. This is your problem. This is the answer. These are the steps that it'll take in order to fix it. You know, here's the cost. We can get this done, you know, today, tomorrow, next week. Let's get you on the schedule. Let's get you in the calendar. You know, whatever the case may be, I could do it right now for you. Let's do it. 
whatever the case may be, you need to help them understand the problem that they're having. And maybe it's something that they don't even realize. Maybe it's, hey, do you know that you guys are spending way too much on your trash services at your business? What if we could cut your rate by 15, 20% and get you at a lower rate? That's what we've done for, you know, X, Y, and Z next door. It's worked for them and I know it's going to work for you. You're paying way too much. I want to get your expenses down and help keep money back in your business so that you can utilize that money in different areas to help grow your business. You shouldn't have to worry about trash. Who wants to worry about trash? Nobody. Let me take care of that for you. I can lower your price right now. We can get it done. Sign this contract. This is what it would be a month, uh, you know, every single month of, of the contract. And this is your new lower price. You know, we can get you set up today and get going. It's as simple as that. Stop saying me. Well, I'm this and, you know, I'm an expert on that. And I have all these awards and I have all these accolades and I've done this and I have this certification. That Nobody gives a rat's hiney about any of that. What are you capable of doing? What problem are you solving? How quickly can you solve the issue? And at what price? That's what you need to know in order to get more deals, get more contracts, fill your pipeline, and go out and execute. And that's another thing. I mean, we could talk a whole other episode on making sure that your pipeline is full. If you have no one to call on or no one to go see, no one's door to go knock on, then you're absolutely screwed. You're you're in the wrong profession because if you don't know how to prospect and fill your pipeline, you are in deep trouble. But once you have that pipeline full, that's where execution and action comes into place. And learn from your mistakes. So many times I see sales guys who, for them, it's a numbers game, okay? So, hey, I have a thousand prospects I'm working on. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call. I got rejected. Okay, cool. I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call the next person. Cool. I got rejected. After five rejects, 10 rejects, 20 rejects. Maybe I get one. Hey, cool. One for 20. All right. At least it's one. But you keep doing that. And and while there is benefit of almost being desensitized to, to being turned down and told no, you need you need to be asking questions to understand why people are saying no. You need to learn from the people who say, sorry, I don't want to do business with you. What is it? Is it me? Did I come off as like a jerk? Is it the money? You know, are you guys just financially not able to have something like this? Uh, are you just not ready for this yet? Can I call on you in two weeks, in two months from now, maybe next year? When's a good time? You need to figure out why no keeps coming up. And once you figure that out, then the next time you make a call, you're going to know, okay, if this guy says uh, it's a money issue, I need to better explain how I'm solving their problem and how my service is better so that they see the value in that price so that that's no longer an excuse. That's how you're going to close the deal. That's how you're going to get more customers and clients. And that's how you're going to increase your revenue and grow your business. So that's really all I wanted to touch on in today's episode. Um, There's just so many people out there who all they do is bitch and complain about, oh, I can't close a deal. The economy is terrible. Uh, This business owner is a jerk. This, you know, this person doesn't understand what I'm saying. No, it's, it's you. It's not them. It's you. You did something wrong. You had a terrible pitch. You gave a terrible presentation. You didn't explain your product or service better. You didn't solve their problem. So take a look in the mirror and figure out what you're doing wrong. Fix it, and I can guarantee you're going to start closing more deals, getting more sales. You become the superstar, all-star of your company, your business, whatever the case may be, your employer will love you, but it starts with you. You need to look at those things. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic 
rest of your day. If you're listening to this on iTunes, I appreciate it. I hope you're a subscriber. If you're watching this podcast on YouTube, give us a subscribe. We're trying to grow. You know, we're trying to expand. We're trying to get all this information out to you guys. It's all free, which also means it's free to share. So if you're on social media and you are listening to this from one of the links that are on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or my LinkedIn, whatever the case may be, share it, get it out there, get this information out because it can help people. If it helps you, it's going to help other people. So don't be greedy. Give it a share. Have a fantastic rest of your week, an amazing weekend, and I hope to catch you guys on the next episode.